let's write this with numbers. 2 trillion, 16 billion, 235,000. It is trillions. So maybe you want to start out by just writing empty lines and commas. This would be the trillions period. Then here's my billions. Here would be my millions and then six more digits after that. And now I will place everything there. 2 trillion means 2 here. 16 billion is 16 here in the billions period. Then millions period and there's none. And so I skip that and go here, 235,000, okay? That helps you keep track of the whole number. Then fill those empty things with zeros over here and here and here. And we don't normally write zeros in front of the number, as you know. Though it wouldn't be wrong, it wouldn't change its value. And now let's write it in expanded form. I will start with the 2. 2 times... And what power of 10 will I use? This is 2 trillion. Its value is 2 trillion. And so it is the same as 2 times 1 trillion. 1 trillion as a power of 10. How much is that? Okay, if I had 1 here, 1 trillion, then this, this, these, and these would be zeros. How many zeros is that? 3, 3, 3, 3, 12 zeros. So... 10 to the 12th power. Then there's 0, so I can skip that. Then this 1 here, plus 1 times. This one here is in the 10 billions place. And if I imagine that I had one of them, I had 1, 10 billion, or 10 billion, then after this would be zeros. how many? 3, 6, 9, plus this one here. There would be 10 zeros. okay? So it is 10 to the 10th power. And it makes sense that I skipped from the exponent 12 to exponent 10 here because there was this place that I skipped being 0. Now I go to the 6. Okay, 6 is just after the 1, so it will be 10 to the 9th power. It makes sense too because if I had here a billion, this is in the billions place, and 1 billion is 1 followed by these zeros, or 9 zeros. Then there's nothing here. I skip to this digit, plus 2 times. This one is in the 100,000th place, so hopefully this is a little easier. 100,000 would be if I had 1 here, followed by 5 zeros, so 10 to the 5th. And then 3 here, the next digit must be 10 to the 4th, and then... 5, the last one here is 10 to the third power, which is 1000. Lastly, we are going to compare some numbers. Which one is more? 7 times 10 to the 8th power or 8 times 10 to the 7th power? Okay, now think of this as 1 followed by 8 zeros. Okay, how much would that be, by the way? 8 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This much would be zeros and then here would be your digits, so... It is in the hundred millions. Seven would be here. So it would be 700 million. Now, 10 to the seventh would be the six, seven zeros, and then eight. This would be 80 million. 80 million or 700 million? This is more. And you can see, of course, you can see it just by looking at the power of 10. 10 to the eighth is more than 10 to the seventh. 10 to the eighth is even more than... 9 times 10 to the 7th, actually. 500,000 or 10 to the 5th? 10 to the 5th. Okay, I'll count my 5 zeros from here. 5 zeros, and then there would be 1 here. So it's 100,000. This here is 100,000, so it's less than 500,000. Here we have an addition, and then 10 to the 9th power. Okay, 10 to the 8th power would be 6, 7, 8 zeros, and then the digit here. It would be again 100 million. This number here is 100 million. This number is much less. It won't actually matter. It doesn't affect our comparison at all. 100 million plus some smaller number. It actually is 1 million. So 101 million. But this one here, 10 to the 9th power, will have all these digits, zeros, and then one here. Oh, it's 1 billion. And 1 billion is definitely more. Okay. Here, 6 billion here 5 times 10 to the 9th 
10 to the 9th. Let's count our digits. 9 zeros and then over here would be 5. So it's 5 billion and 6 billion. Of course 6 billion is more. Here, 435 billion, 4 times 10 to the 11th. Again, count 11 digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 11 digits of zeros and then 4 here, just like it is actually. So it's 400 billion on the other side, on the right side. 400 billion versus 435 billion. That's clear, this is more. And over here, 10 times 10 to the 5th, 10 to the 6th. This one is exactly 1 million. This here, 10 to the 5th, well, it is 1 followed by 5 zeros. When you multiply that by 10, you add a 0 to it. So this actually becomes 10 to the 6th. They are equal. Okay, well done. I hope this was helpful.